for the bike trail. Yeah. 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 I've had a lot of feedback about cycling routes in the city. The problem is, and a lot of people are giving me this, is that we're going to lose parking along these routes, and it's automatic. Virtually all parking has gone from both sides of the street, as is planned for 76th Avenue. We've got to come up with a better solution. So if they take away another lane or one side, well, they're going to take away both sides of the parking. So there's going to be absolutely no parking, and that's going to put, probably put us out of business, let alone just be an inconvenience. Property value gets reduced. Mm -hmm. Who will want to buy a building for a business where no customers can park? So you're going to lose parking. You can't park in front, you can't park in front. Right. Yeah. We're not against bikes, we're against the parking lot. We put uh, three petitions and they filled up. This is the Ritchie store. 90, 90 signatures per petition. Cycling. I'm not sure how, isn't it time we, we got along? coincides with that whole theme that you're trying to sort of present here tonight. Eliminating parking spaces on a street that is well traveled by lots and lots of cars. This sign is about that we drivers and cyclists mm -hmm. alike share the same space on the road. Okay, but arguably I live in San Francisco. It's the most bike friendly city in the in the United States. And we don't have parking spaces being eliminated because we have bike lanes. I can't cycling down 76th Avenue for 20 years going to work and I've never really noticed the bike uh, traffic there enough to necessitate an individual bike lane. I've never had to honk my horn to pass anybody and I really have never had any problem with respect from the other riders. Um, we also need to think about things like visitors. Unfortunately I have folks that live out of town. These people like to come visit me. I am awfully embarrassed to now have to tell them that they need to park three blocks away and please carry your luggage to my home. Uh, what I've been hearing very strongly is that residents, are, they do not have a say in this. They feel trapped. They go to a, a meeting and it's basically a dog and pony show. They're told this is how it's going to work. There's no other alternative. Get used to it. I don't think that's fair. I'm annoyed. <laughs> we never got consultation from the city at all. It's not a reason why, not even a letter. There's been no consultation with us uh, and people within the neighborhood. As you can see by the turnout and by the petitions that the people in the area and the neighborhood are not for this. 76 Up is not safe. Um, there's industrial trucks, there's fire trucks all the time. Um, buses. Buses. So there's alternative, alternatives that if they reanalyzed it and really actually had consulted with us, I would have said, I'm all for the bikes. I like a greener city, but there's better ways to do it. People are very upset that they, they, their voices are not being heard. And it's just not right that people aren't being heard on this issue. And if you have something to say, go to carrydiot.com. I'm interested in your feedback on this issue and have a say now. This is not a done deal. If enough people speak up, there's a chance that these, these bike routes can change. So wade into the discussion, I'm, I'm all ears. I think the solution to this is look at other routes. And you'll hear from people who have other ideas on this. The fact is people are just not getting enough say into this very matter. I, I really appreciate you weighed in and, and you know, state your piece here because uh, I think it's all about listening to people. And I, I'm not certain that a lot of people have been in this. Um, and I'm glad that you stated your views. That's important. Gary, I can't thank you enough for listening to us. I mean, you've made all the difference in the world. You have made such a big difference in the life of Edmontonians. Um, I finally feel like I have a voice and I have some place to come speak. And we do need to speak. Um, we can't just sit idly by and let these things happen to us anymore. We have to be able to say no more. Um, this just doesn't work for us. I appreciate it. Thank Thanks. you so much. Okay, for sure.